to him, man. Um, ignore my face breaking out. I've gotten a lot of comments from people telling me to stop drinking coffee because they know it's gonna make my anxiety worse. I sacrifice because coffee is just too good. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can't just like never drink coffee again. That just seems really unrealistic. This is probably the worst my face has broken out in like so long. It looks way worse right now too because my face, mainly my forehead, has been breaking out so bad. And I got like a professional extracting kit thing, but like I did it because I had like a bunch of texture and stuff on my forehead. Yeah, but most of those red marks were already there from just having pimples on my face. So, yeah, it's really bad and I'm really insecure about it and I told myself I wasn't gonna film today and that's just like really stupid because like literally everyone has acne and if you don't then you're really lucky but it's like normal and I don't know why I get so insecure about it so I'm forcing myself to film today anyways I hope everyone's having a good day today I've already edited most of this video diary. I don't even know what I'm gonna call it. I'll probably call it like a reset. Today's really like a reset day, you know? Like I gotta do laundry. It's like that reset day of the week. If you've been here for a really, really long time, you know in like a long time ago, like I think it was like two years ago now in a and A, I said like my dream job was to be a film editor. And I don't know if I mentioned it in that, but like it's kind of like 
to be a director as well. I don't know how to explain it, but I have always like through my eyes, I'll see something and I'm just like, I wish I could like film that exact thing. So that's pretty much like what I'm doing with this. I really don't know if that makes sense, but I'm like filming like everyday things, like trying to find the beauty in like everyday things. It's like kind of like the thing how you like romanticize your life. What harm does it do to romanticize our life? Oh my god, I didn't put a timer on for the cinnamon rolls. Hold on. And sometimes there will be talking in these videos and sometimes there won't. But yeah, I'm just gonna do these videos every once in a while because I did the first one and I was absolutely in love with it and I've watched it like a million freaking times. I started YouTube because I wanted to edit. It's the main reason why I even started filming YouTube videos because I had nothing to edit. So I just started filming so I could edit because I love editing so much. And recently editing has felt more like a chore just because I'm doing it more often because I'm trying to get more videos out because this is my job but it's felt like more like a chore and it's like losing that like spark and I feel like these videos have kind of brought it back so yeah but I'll just do these videos every once in a while but that doesn't mean I'm gonna stop doing other videos I have a vlog planned for my birthday I'm really excited my birthday's on February 19th so expect a video like the day after that or the day after after that and i'm doing a bunch of fun things for that i know i kind of just posted the last video without explaining so i did kind of want to explain but there's not gonna be that much talking in these videos i don't know like i like like the silence of the videos my forehead literally hurts when i like lift it Ow. all right time to get the day started <gasps> ah! Oh. Uh -huh. 